Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me, let's play some more of our campaign. City Kings 2, The Reapers Do, Building Tall. So both of the uh, characters that I've just granted independence to are evidently my rivals. Yeah, naturally, of course, he's also considered to be a powerful vassal, wants to be on there. Do you want to duel this man? My personal uh, combat skill is 3, his personal combat skill is 2. He's only 18 years old, I don't really want to injure him, I don't, I don't want to duel him. I, I'm just gonna win this war and then end it. He's just recruited a whole bunch of infantry, fair enough. He's marching to Finland, he'll be there on the 23rd, we're gonna be there on the 14th. I don't believe we have any river crossings to worry about, so... Let's just go ahead and uh, win our fight. Let's put it just a little bit, maybe, can we put just a tiny more? Yeah, I'd rather have a couple more men in the center. I was wounded! Interesting. Alright, we barely won that fight. You and your bastard spare troops. Gotta chase this army down. Once again, the right flank fell. But, we're doing okay. Got another 460-some men. Uh, from there, our, our troop levies are about the same size. I think we'll just siege him out. We'll do one more combat and then we'll just stay in his province. Ooh, a shaman. Those guys are worth money. Do we have a siege leader? Let's see. Minor titles. Commanders. There are two commander slots available right now. Uh, we, we don't really have much, no. Alright, well, let's just do the sieging ourselves then. And then we can grant independence to this guy, and then we can change succession law. We have righteous imprisonment, and it's gone. Someone was, uh, your whole Frody was trying to kill the Jarl of Finland. Hey, we're just scarred now. Nice. Got a little bump on our chin. Sweet. Looks good. Why are we still stressed out? Come on, man. Somebody needs to take me out carousing. Sounds like fun. Sounds like a grand old time. I mean, my father, he got to go carousing like every week. Non-stop. Uh, Ragnar just died of poor health. The stubborn 41-year-old fool. Now my heir is the Jarl of Finland, who I'm about to grant independence to. Well, let's see if we can nominate somebody better. Uh, we've got my brother, the petty kingdom of East Anglia. Uh, no, I don't really want to do him. Look at look at how low the martial scores are. All right, here we go. Grimmer, the Jarl of Finnmark, 22. No strong trait. He's 46 already. I wouldn't mind playing as the Jarl of Finland. Sure, we'll, we'll nominate this guy. I think we already are nominating him. Yeah. Now people are supporting us. Good. Alright. Couple, two, three more months and we'll have this. I'm no longer stressed. Your faithful hunting dog is always around and always happy to see you. It is good to have a faithful friend. Indeed it is. Awesome. Mr. Faithful, the hunting dog. I approve of your presence. Daughter was born to Ragnar Gunmunderson. So, he slept with Emis and he made a, a kinswoman. No, that's different. Alright, there's 100%. Let's go ahead and accept. Alright, you are now imprisoned. You do have uh, 281 gold. Rather than worry about the gold, though, I think we'll just go ahead and uh, take your money. Or take, take the province. Grant it to you. Revoke title? Or where's Grant Landed title? Why is Grant Landed title not available? I must have a landed title which you can hold. I, uh, I do. I do. Right there. Part of the Jarldom of Finland. I mean, it belongs to him. Is it because you're my you're my heir right now and we've got the wrong succession law? I think yes. Okay, so we got a shaman who's really upset. He wants to seat on the council. He's uh pretty good at the learning thing. Our current seer is no is not considered to be a strong guy, so let's go ahead and appoint that guy. 
He's not eligible to be on the council, okay? Because you control this temple. Uh, what, are you the wrong religion? Yeah. Maybe that's it. That's why he can't be our guy. I guess we can temporarily make you into this this thing. Just to make you happy. Now everyone likes us. Now we can change succession law. Once we've changed succession law, we should be allowed to grant this province and then grant him independence. There we go. Okay, just uh, just go straight up elective. Get rid of the gavel kind. I don't really care too much about the increased domain limit. And uh, I would prefer to be able to, to choose my guys directly. So yeah, I think we would like to go to elective. We will still nominate uh, Frody. New ambition is going to be to uh, build a war chest, I guess. Now that we have the Rex succession law, we can grant you the County of Nyland, which the council still supports. Do that. Just lost our chancellor. Now we appoint a different guy. We've got uh, this guy who's actually quite good. Let's find a job for you. Who is our strongest vassal that doesn't like us? We've got this guy who absolutely loves me, but he's about to become independent. You could be higher, and then you are at 36, but you guys, you both just want to be on the council, so let's wait for a second on that. Alright, let's go ahead and grant you independence now. And then let's form an alliance with you, since you're of our dynasty. That changes the composition of the, the realm a bit. So now we've got uh, the strongest guy in the realm is very, very strong. 38% of our overall levy. I do think we want to just improve relations with you. Okay. We are almost down to De Jure, Sweden, which is nice. Saddle my horse, let's go. We're exactly five out of five, which is good. As he's growing older, I can see that Thorgil could use some guidance. In some of my, my experienced areas, it will require hard work and may not always be whatever. I don't want to become stressed for you, my, my kid. I mean, you're not strong, so you're probably not someone I'm ever going to play. I could just have out of patience for five years, affecting my stats a bit. I think just, just learn on your own, boy. I know I'm your father and I'm supposed to mentor you, but uh, why, why should I? Why? <laughs> also, let's uh, let's go back to our fine characters interface here real quick, and just see. I want to search the realm for great house, my dynasty, adult? No, only boys. Sort by age. Um, this is the guy we were just looking at, I think. He's a bit frail. We've also got uh, this 10-year-old who's being educated by me as well. Wait a second, I thought I just looked at it and I only had one ward. How come you're considered to be my educator if I'm not actually guardian gar guardianing you? This genius, you know what? I definitely want to educate that one. Let's go ahead and start educating him now. I am the proper guardian. There we go. As she's growing older, I can see that she could use some, uh, some more guidance. I could become rivals with my kinswoman. I'm, well, you know what? I'm already rivals with tons of people, so why not? We now have a uh, powerful faction. Jarl Kettle for Svithshund. So, Kettle. That would be this guy down here who I'm trying to... Trying to do whatever with. Alright, so he is the one leading the faction. His opinion of me is at 29. He's pleased by the succession law change, and now he's able to start the plot for the, the faction. Do we have a discontent council or something? I thought that they couldn't create factions. Counselors cannot join or start factions while the council is content, and the war declaration law is set to... They cannot start or join factions, so wait. You are an advisor, which makes you on the council, so how are you able to just do that? You cannot join or start factions. Lest I'm confused, it looks to me like you just started a faction while you're on the council. I mean, what? Alright. Sure. Fair enough. I mean, we'll get a little bit of opinion with you. We'll still try to improve relations. But. We'll make them all ambitious. Alright, we're a hunter. Sweet. Alright, he's now left the faction, even though he shouldn't have been able to join it in the first place, darn it. Okay, uh, Castletown.
He's the cheapest here in Hatuna. It's a significant reduction in cost. 166.5. What, what is the overall reduction in, in cost here? Economy advances. We've got construction level 2, which gives us a... Uh, Six point two percent reduced cost. I said, you know, some of these tooltips. I really wish that they told you more. Like, what? What is the base cost? I could have sworn the base cost was like two hundred. Must be one hundred seventy-five, right? What's one sixty-six point five divided by like, um, point nine four ish? Yeah. I don't know. I, I, the tooltip should tell you some more more of the information. It is what it is, though. Let's just do it. That's the key. Is that we should just do it. The falconer is expecting me as a new hunting bird has arrived. Make my seer like us a little bit better. Yeah, we don't need the prestige. All right, the levy's still only at about half strength, but I do want to go raiding. Emmy's died of cancer. It looks like a crab. Is it not a crab? Am I not reading that symbol properly? Maybe that's supposed to be like lungs and a heart, but it, because it's a heart, and then I swear it's like a little little heart, a little, a little crab guy with eyes, and then these are the pincers. That's what I see. Apparently I'm stressed now. Again. Alright, well, we want to build a war chest. We also, uh... Oh, right, that's what happened. We, we failed the ambition because we were at war against that guy. Fair enough. Alright, so we are a kingdom. So we need 700 gold. Jarl Falki of Vestergotland has declared the West Kiedish conquest of Erjadal. So I have a vassal who is uh, Jarl Falk. What? You know, it doesn't. What? You're not actually at war. Apparently, the war immediately got invalidated, like within the last month or so, because that war's already gone. Right, okay, let's focus on trying to consolidate the, uh, the Empire, the, the Kingdom, whatever it's called. So this is part of Bergslagen, which, uh, we have not created yet. We have a du jour claim on it. You are underneath this guy here, who's got 600 some some men to his name. We have the du jour claim on Vost- yeah, let's, let's go ahead and take this thing. All the levy can just go and kill. Go, go and kill. The actual guy here controls Skane and this thing here. Oh, he just turned of age. Just literally turned 16. He's a content boy. Hopefully he's content to give us all of our land back. We can call in some more men. East Anglia has 2,100 men. Wow. My, uh, my friend over here. My brother who hates my guts. Let me guess. Rivals? No. Called into war. Ambitious. Title claimants. He's upset with me for being a known murderer. His boy's only eight, though, so I'm a little concerned about his error. The lineage over there. We'll see. Look at this. The, the symbol down here, it's still a boy here. You'll always be a boy in my eyes. Grand Chief Bernd. A little bit of, uh, non hospitalage He's also fighting against somebody else up here. Looks like uh, Island is doing a good job of sieging out the northern port bit up there. An unsuccessful raid against the besiegers, taking heavy losses in the attempt. This is uh, Island is sieging this thing down. Okay, so now we are replenishing troops there. Let's go ahead and move the guy again. We'll, we'll accept, but then let's go up to Gastriklin now. We're just going to skip right past this province and go for Sealand. Or Sealand, or Sealand. I, I have no idea. Someone had said that I was saying it right-ish, so I'm going to just assume that it's fine. As she's growing older, I can see she could use some guidance. Yeah, we're just going to rival all of our kids. Any one of our dynasty, we're just, I mean, I've got all these rivals. <laughs> I find it so silly that you rival your own family. Alright, he's a brilliant strategist, which means that he does start off with uh, a thing. He, he's a light foot leader. Of all things, you had to choose right light foot leader. And you're not allowed to stay uh, those things. And apparently we also have one more one more final event before he actually ages up. We could try to make him brave. Or make him honest. Hmm. A little bit of diplomacy could be nice, but bravery is, is clearly superior, I think. 
Maybe he became ambitious and brave, and he's still frail. Just a minor little health mal. It's not a big deal. Uh, we need to get you married to somebody. Let's see, are there any strong women out there? We've got a nine-year-old. Any geniuses? Ah, there we go. Let's go for her. Alright, let's check one more thing here. We've got, um... we got Klaus, the 12-year-old, my kinsman. He's already betrothed to some random woman. You are 12. Let's see if we can get you betrothed to that strong one. 12, 9, 10, let's go. You're a bastard. Uh, yeah, we'll go with you. We have unlanded sons. Yeah, that's fine. I'm perfectly fine with just taking the, uh, the prestige hit for having landless sons. It's not a big deal. Prestige, there's like two types of prestige, right? You've got prestige from in the real game which affects opinions of you up to 2,000, and then you've got Dynasty Prestige, which is completely separate. Dynasty Prestige doesn't get affected at all by having land the suns. So if you're trying to build up your Dynasty, it's not like you have to land the, the, the suns. Granted, the more Dynasty members hold different titles, um, the better, but if I'm giving it to... giving them one of my titles, it's the same thing. I'm holding it, or they're holding it, so... Dynasty Prestige doesn't increase at all by that. So as long as we have over 2,000 Prestige, basically, I don't care to, uh, to worry about it. Yeah, regular marriage there, it's fine. It's a very prestigious thing. Cool. Nice, we actually improved relations with this guy a little bit after pissing him off. First we insulted him, I think, and then we've improved relations with him successfully. Well, he's high enough now, so let's go for... the Jarl of this place, who is considered to be a powerful vassal now. With his god-awful horrible stats. Well, we're pressing a claim for him, he'll like us after we win this war. People are flocking to Upland, and they should know your name. By constructing a great monument there, you can rest assured that everyone will know who is to credit. We get a glorious monument. Monthly prestige plus 0.5. Is it, is it permanent? I am great, indeed. Or apparently we're going to go negative on money, that's fine. I'm not too concerned about having negative finances. We'll probably end up with like a smuggler's ring and all that other stuff. It'll fire right away, but... Alright, that is sieged down by him. We'll make the money back pretty quickly. Got a tiny little thing here. Let's go ahead and go to the... Uh, Money map mode, see which provinces have the most loot, which determines their value. This one here's got a temple beneath it. Alright, it's a nice dog, sure. Yeland. You ready to surrender yet? Everyone loves the dog again. He's a very nice dog. Like, really, really nice. We want to make our son ambitious. Yes, we do. It'll cause problems for us in the future, which makes things interesting. I actually kind of like when you don't have a siege leader, because then you don't have to do all that micro. I mean, okay. Let me just get on my little complaining... I'm going to put my complaining hat on for just a second, okay? Right? I've been I've been trying for a couple weeks now, actually a month or so now, to just, you know, avoid making lots of complaints and stuff, but... Paradox, please, man. Like, like... Okay, siege leaders don't affect combat. At all. So, please, 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 like, allow siege leaders, or people who increase movement speed, like, if they're in a secondary position down here, to affect sieges. Like, why? 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 It's just, it's just tedious. Like, you gotta re relieve the tedium from the game to make it a better game. Granted, the game's like four years old, so I shouldn't complain, but... Hmm, here was some money. Goodbye. Okay, uh, peace be with you. My nephew in Finland over here is, uh, apparently at war. 1605 prestige to decline. Make us an alliance breaker in the eyes of the world. It's the Finnish conquest of Kemi. I accept. By all means, let's fight. Which actually is great, because that makes us hostile to the guys who are sieging down this thing, and this thing's got no garrison right now, so we can just go and assault it real quick. Let's finish this siege first, and then we'll head over to Skane. And if we run to his army on the way, that's that's spectacular. We'll take it. Got six ticks there. Class. Alright, any other laws we can change? We need to have legalism at level 3 to be able to change that. We have 313 points here, might as well spend them, right? If we can't buy level 3 Majesty, we certainly can't afford to buy level 3 Legalism. Religious controlled mandates. Better opinion. Feudal vassal opinion is probably the most useful.
I think we do want to unlock medium centralization. We were saving economic points because on every character I want to move the capital to build the, build the shipyards and stuff. I don't think we have a shipyard here yet. And I don't think we can move our capital again, can we? No, we've already... Uh, I think we've already done it with this character. Revoke title allowed or religious? The right to enforce religious control upon subjects and may now seize the titles of heathens and heretics freely. That or centralization? I think we want to move toward it. So let's do centralization first since we can only do one at a time. I'm not going to worry about messing about with messing about with obligations. I think that's worthwhile. So other technology then. We, we have more than enough points that we can move our capital again and still do it. So what could we research? Castletown 3 would be great. Yes. On the other hand, getting the university. Yeah. You know what? Even though I want money, we can get money from raiding. Let's try to get these universities up and running as soon as possible. Um, we'll go up to university, uh, town infrastructure 2, as soon as we can. Beyond that, uh, on the military side, we could do military organization now. We could get another 150% retinue cap, and possibly even have a room. Retinue cap usage 600. If we doubled our retinue from technology, we could actually have one retinue. Or we could not do that and just go for some, like, siege equipment. Which would be great. It would be so much... I mean, these tooltips could be improved. So we're somewhere between 12.5 and 25. This is telling us we're going to go up by 8.8% .8 more. So I'm assuming we're at, like, 25 minus 8.8. .8. Um, the thing is, the vast majority of our troops are heavy infantry. Like, let's take a look at our army real quick. We've got uh, 1,500 heavy infantry. It's a lot of heavy infantry. Alright, we will take the siege equipment. I do want to get the retinue soon, but... Um, Alright, low centralization has been passed. We want to become proud, but we don't really need the prestige. I'd rather be humble, I think, if at all possible. All dynasty member opinions lowered by five. Or we gain some prestige at the cost of money. We don't have any money. I think we just ignore them. Hey, we've become humble. It actually happened. So that is the seventh virtue. Cool. All right, moving on. All right, I'm going to take a break here, but uh, next episode we're going to try to uh, clean up the realm a little bit, and we're going to have to go raiding soon. The levy should be getting back up to full fairly soon-ish, and uh, we'll see. Alright, thanks for watching everyone, see you soon.